against thee, saith the Lord. My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. And the hell represents in front of death of King of the Greeks. Not burning up forever. We thought it was going to be our point to fight. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. You told us to be not weary, okay? What a uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 9. Right. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. So we just read, be not worried, man. Okay? And it says right here, be strong in the power of the you got again? Power is might. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He said be strong in the Lord, okay? And in the power of his might. Let him hear. So we're supposed to be fearless out here, man. He said that the Lord gave us not the spirit of fear, okay? But of a sound mind. So you might as well get a second, a second reference. That's some precepts. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 6 verse uh, 17 Thus saith the Lord Stand ye in the way And see and ask for the old past Where is the good way And walk therein And you shall find rest for your soul But they said we will not walk therein Also I said watch me. The old past is basically the scriptures Because this is where we can find our history Okay and it said they, they would not walk their end. This the other, the other the false prophets and all the two thirds of our people. They don't want to hearken to the word. Okay? Yeah. It says, and I sit watchman over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we will not hearken. And the sound of the trumpet is the Bible, okay? Well, this is our standard. That's a revelation. That's a revelation. More than that. It is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 2 But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence but with I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walk to the flesh For though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through the Most High to the pulling down of strongholds. And our weapons is the knowledge of the Lord, okay? And then the strongholds up against these false philosophies that are, that are taught throughout the world, okay? Such as that being the Lord Jesus Christ, which says a real man that lived in the 1400s, okay? Such as uh, the Israelites or the so-called Jews in the land of Israel today. Those are those are uh, those are imaginations, okay? Second uh, Corinthians ten and well, those are strongholds. Second Corinthians ten and five, Cast, casting down imaginations and the every high thing that exalts of itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of our shot. Read that again, man. All right. Casting down imagination. But you can't have your own mind. All right, you can't have your own mind. You can't, can't have your own uh, train of thought when it comes to the scriptures. Your mind has to be aligned perfectly with the, with the, uh, what, what the scriptures say. Go ahead. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts of itself against the knowledge of the most high. And that can be pride in a man. That can be pride in a man. A lot of a lot of our people are headstrong. What? And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. God, so what 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 the prophets of the Lord, what the prophets of the Lord say, that's that's what the truth is, okay? Because we say it according to the, the words in the book, according to the spirit of Yahweh Shai. What? Uh, uh, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Basically, that's telling us to prove what, prove what we teach, okay? Do the, do the, do the knowledge of the book and not all uh, hurt, okay? And that word cap, captivity can also mean to captivate. And 
and we captivate the minds of the people through the word that we speak, and also through what uh, through our signs are. Okay, our biggest stretches. You know, the twelve tribe signs that that catch people's that catch people's minds, or, or, or that sign that that basically says that's the devil. Uh, this is. Yeah. You know, we captivate the minds by the people of this sign. Yeah, and for some reason we always with this sign. We always trip, trip. We always trip people up with this, man. They, they, they can never get it right the first time, you know. Like they look at the picture and they read, it and it is the, what they read just goes over their head. Yeah, like. You know, and they, then they say we're saying Jesus is the devil. That's not what we're saying. Did you actually read it? Yeah. But they didn't comprehend it. That's the thing. They read it, but they didn't comprehend it. Yeah, because it's locked in their mind that that image is Jesus. Well, get uh, he uh, you felt like getting get understanding in Proverbs. Where's that at? Oh, I got. It. Yeah, that's 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 a very crucial day, crucial thing to have. Understanding. Just, I had that earlier but, too. Early the day we put this woman into captivity with the word. Yeah, at first she was against us, and then she she left, you know, peacefully, you know. She said, God bless us and all that. She was smiling. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, this is brought out the truth. This is uh, I'm gonna five, start at I'm gonna start at five. This is Proverbs four and five. Get wisdom, get understanding. Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. Gone. Wisdom is wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Wisdom. I make the word principal means the first, the first thing. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and how you gain wisdom is through faith, okay? And with all that getting, get understanding. Yeah, okay, the main thing you're supposed to have is understanding your understanding of faith. the word, okay? Yeah. Yep. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. Exalt her meaning the teacher, okay? You know, basically it's uh, uh, constantly remain in this book. This, you know, right there, that cop right there. Get back to you. Oh. Oh, that's a uh, idol sign. Like idols of the nations. Yeah. yeah. The gods of the nations. Oh, man. Eddie Celeste, Malachi. Malachi, you are King Tut. Yeah, Psalms 96 and 5. Real quick, this is Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Oh, get off. But the Lord made the heavens. And here we're looking at the idols of the world. Idols of the world. Okay. Uh, Paul said the idol was nothing. The, the, the cobblestone is, is one that really nine. basically destroyed our people, right? Mentally, okay? Because they, they really now believe I say that the idol was nothing. It's like a third verse. And we can prove it to you, which we've been proving throughout the years that, that Islam is not the way to go, man. They won't even pray unless they face that way. In, in the, in the uh, Quran, it actually tells you that the Most High is only dealing with the Israelites. Right. You know? And also, it tells you that the Bible is better than the Quran. Yeah, come on, we'll get it. Yeah, 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 no, the Quran, tells you, the Quran tells you to read the Bible, but then the Bible says to not have any other book except for the Bible, so... Right. How is the Quran going to tell you to have the Bible, but then the Bible's going to say not to have any other book? Yeah, I got this. All right, this is out the Quran. This is um, Al Bukhari, uh, 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 Ayat uh, 1 and 22. Um, Children of Israel, recall my favor which I bestowed upon you, and I exalted you above above um, the nations of the world. That's one translation. Uh, this is Al, Al Bukhari, uh, Ayat 1 and 22. Uh, children of Israel, recall my favor which I bestowed upon, upon you, and I exalted you above the nations of the world. So it basically tells you what the Bible says that the, that the nation of Israel is the only chosen of God. Okay? Why do they say it was the Jews? The Quran is actually advocating the Bible and telling you that we're the, we're the chosen people. Right. But so they're not included in the promise, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That, that was just basically, if you go into a nutshell, the Quran was created by our black church pope father that was over there in uh, Europe during the time of the Dark Ages. I mean, 
Right. And they created this type of rhetoric or persuasive speech to write it and gave it to the Muslims to, or the Arabs to denutralize the land so they could try to get back the Holy Land. Okay. Go into it. They stabilized the Arabs over there and gave them a belief system which was contrary to what they was already believing in all these idols that you see here today. Yes, sir. They was already worshiping like a god for every day of the year. And we can prove it too. This guy right here. I, I got okay. I studied yeah. with his people too. Yeah, he's I, a demon. Yeah. Yeah, so I found out about him too. But, uh, there's this first John 5 and 21. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Amen. Little go. children of us. Okay. We're, born, we're, we're born again. When you're born again, meaning you erase all of the, the, the wicked knowledge you had in the world, and you're born again. Maybe sound like you too, somebody get so that yet. So you're reborn. That's why John called them little children. And it says too, no man can receive the kingdom. This is, uh, the book of Psalms, chapter two. Right. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. This is Psalms eight and two. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. Mouth of babes meaning young men, men that are born again. And sucklings 